how to write the abstract for a research paper. Basically, there are six things that you need to mention in, a, in an abstract. Number one, the importance of the study, why the study is important. So if we look at this example, here the authors mentioned that there are some language teachers who go as for as their retirement, and then there are some who leave their job in the middle. So if we know the factors, what um, motivate them to go until as far as retirement, we can uh, motivate the other teachers who live in the middle to also go as far as till the retirement age. Number two, gap statement. So you need to mention that what exactly is missing in the body of knowledge. If we look at this example here, the author mentioned that there is no study that can tell us that what are the factors that motivate some teachers to go A's for A's until their time. Number three, objective. What exactly you want to do in the study? So if we look at this example, here the author mentioned that they want to study three cases of such teachers who went until A's for A's retirement and want to determine that what are the factors that motivate them to be in this job. Number four, methodology. So you need to mention that how exactly you want to conduct this study. So if you look at this example, here the author mentioned that they will collect data through interviews and then they are going to analyze the data through self-determination theory, key findings. So here you need to mention uh, what are the key findings of your entire study. If you look at this example, so they had three findings. Number one, that these teachers who went until A's for A's the age of retirement, they enjoyed the autonomy that they had in terms of teaching and the content they want to teach. Number two, they were very passionate about their uh, work. And number three, they enjoyed being with the students. Number six, applications. So here you need to mention that, okay, you have conducted this study. So, so what? What are the implications of this study? So if you look at this example, uh, the implications of this study are primarily two. Number one is that the teachers who are uh, primarily the language teachers, they need to be aware of their psychological needs. And number two, that the schools or the administrators, they need to find out ways to which they can give more autonomy to the teachers. Now, some researchers might mention that uh, some journals have some limit on the number of words we can mention or the number of words in an abstract. So obviously we can try to congest if we are uh, bound by the number of words, but these are generally the parts or the things that we mention in an abstract. To summarize, there are six things that we need to mention in the abstract of a research paper. Number one, the importance of the study. Number two, the gave statement. Number three, the objective of the study. Number four, the methodology that we use for conducting the study. Number five, key findings. And number six, the implications of your findings.